Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about matplotlib. And this is going to be tutorial number three, stacked bar chart. So sometimes if you want to see how a larger category is divided into smaller categories, and what the relationship of each part has on the total amount, you will need to use a stacked bar chart. A stacked bar chart displays a part to whole relationship among categories within various groups. The columns represent groups into smaller segments making the proportions and relationship of the categories to each group explicit. Okay, now let's see an example. Here is the Rio 2016 Summer Olympics medal table for the top five countries. We have our countries, the USA, the GBR, China, Russia, and Germany. And we also have our uh, amount of gold, silver, and bronze winners. So we want to use a stacked bar chart to show the data because now not only do we have different country categories, but in each uh, category group, we can also divide it into three smaller segments, which is gold, silver, and bronze. Okay, so let's see how we could do this. Now, we're going to be using matplotlib in order to graph the, this information. So we want to first import our modules by writing import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. As plt. And first, we import the matplotlib submodule, which is pyplot, and we rewrite it to a shorter name, plt. Now, plt becomes an alias for matplotlib.pyplot and is equivalent to it. So now let's put the data into list, into lists. So put data in lists. I'm going to have a countries list with the USA. Uh, GBR, China, Russia, and Germany. And I'm also going to have um, three other lists for gold, silver, and bronze. And they correspond to each uh, country. 46, 27, 26, 19, 17, silver is equal to 37, 23, 18, 18, 10, and uh, bronze is equal to 38, 17, 26, 19, and 15. So for a stacked bar chart, we have at least two segments stacked uh, together with one segment on top of another in each column. In this case, we have three. We need to find the bottom of each segment, and for the first segment, the bottom is going to be 0, which is by default. So we could skip this. For the second segment, the bottom is the top of the first one. And for the third, the bottom is the first plus the second, and so on it if we have more, and so on if we have more segments. So now let's put this into code. Let's put our data in lists. So our bottom silver is equal to gold and so our bottom gold is equal to zero which is by default so I just skipped it the bottom silver is going to be equal to gold which means that the bottom of the silver segment is the top of the gold and so this is pretty easy to understand now how do we find the bottom bronze well the bottom bronze is the gold plus the silver but you can't uh, simply add the gold list and the silver together Adding two lists together will only put all of the elements of the two lists together and make a longer list. So what, so what we want to do is add the matching elements of the list together. Now there are several ways to do this, but you can use the numpy.add. Um, but let's try not to have another module involved. So how do we do it without using numpy? Well, we could use it for we could use a for loop, but there was a more elegant and concise method to do this, which is by using list comprehension. And by using list comprehension, we can write bottom bronze is equal to, and then in square brackets, a plus b for a comma b in zip gold silver. Here we use the zip function, and Python zip function creates an iterator that will add elements from two or more lists uh, elements wise. Now, uh, with the bottom of each segment set, we can make the bar chart. We can create or make 
make the plot and show it on screen. So we will have a figure and x is equal to plt dot subplots. Uh, p1 is equal to x dot bar. Countries bold. P2 is equal to x dot bar. Countries a silver. And the bottom is equal to bottom underscore silver. P3 is equal to x dot bar. Countries bronze. Oops. And the bottom is equal to bottom underscore bronze. And plt dot show. And so if I save and run this, oh, let's see, p3 is equal to, and here we see all of our uh, data. So we have our countries at the bottom, and we have our uh, data, our numbers, and for our y-axis. And we also see that uh, this is separated by colors. So would it be better to add labels on the x and y axis in the title. So let's add our labels. As for our x label, I'm going to write plt.x label uh, countries because that's what it's representing. The x is going to be countries and PLTR, plt y label is going to be metals. metals plt.title and the title of this is going to be Rio 2016 Summer Olympics oops Olympics medal table and these are the top five and so let's run this and now we have our uh, X labels countries or Y labels medal and at the top we see it says Rio 2016 Summer Olympics medal table top 5. And of course we also need a legend, otherwise we wouldn't know uh, which segment represents which medals. And let's add a legend. So first of all, let's add another parameter uh, here. Let's label this, oops, I meant to do it, p1, label is equal to gold for p2. The label is equal to silver, silver. For P3, the label is equal to bronze. And we can write PLT dot legend. Legend. Now if I save and run this, we have a legend at the top right which corresponds to each color. So this blue represents gold, this uh, sort of orange represents this orange, and this green represents bronze, and this orange represents silver. Now we can also show the numbers in the stacked bar chart using bar un underscore label command. So let's do that. Underneath here, I'm gonna write ax dot bar label p1 the label type is equal to center. And instead of just rewriting this, I'm going to copy and paste this and change this to P2. And if I save and run this, we have a label of each um, segment for each uh, metal. So for USA, we have 46 uh, gold, 37 silver, and 38 bronze. And we can see that for each country. Now the colors in the bar chart are given by default. What if you don't like these colors? Like what if I don't like this blue or this green or this orange? And we want to use our own colors. Well, we can totally do this. And here's how. All we need to do is add a color parameter right here. So I'm going to add a color parameter. Color is equal to gold. And I'll make this color is equal to red. And I'll make this color equal to 
green. So now if I save and run this, now we have uh, gold at the bottom, we have red representing silver, and green representing bronze. And now this allows you to change the default colors. Okay, so this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.